The UK's first protector RG Mark I aircraft has successfully completed its first flight after coming off the production line. The latest milestone in the UK protector program follows the announcement in July that the first three aircraft were being manufactured following the award by the Ministry of Defence of a £65 million contract to General Atomics, Aeronautical Systems Inc. The aircraft took to the skies in the US on Friday, September 25, under the watchful eye of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc. staff. Protector RG Mark I, which will replace the current Reaper force when it is introduced to the front line, is considered a step change in capability for the Royal Air Force. The cutting-edge platform will be capable of being flown anywhere in the world, while being operated by personnel located at their home base at Royal Air Force Waddington Lincolnshire, where it will enter service by mid-2024. This first protector aircraft will remain in the US to support system testing as part of a combined UK Ministry of Defence, US Air Force and General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc. test team. Upon completion of this initial testing, it will be delivered to the Ministry of Defence in the summer of 2021, but will remain in the USA to complete the Royal Air Force's test and evaluation program. This is the first of the three protector aircraft currently on order, although the contract includes an option for the remaining 13 aircraft to complete the currently planned fleet of 16 aircraft that will more than double the capability currently provided by Reaper. Protector will have to meet stringent NATO and UK safety certification standards, meaning it could operate in civilian airspace. Protector will be deployed in wide-ranging intelligence, surveillance, targeting and reconnaissance, or known as ISTER operations, where its ability to fly consistently for up to 40 hours offers the Royal Air Force vastly improved armed ISTER capability. It would also be available, if requested, to support civilian agencies in the UK, for example in search and rescue and disaster response missions.